tutorial for how to embed textures in your YFT models, so embedded textures tutorial basically. So first thing we want to do is import a car for the example. So I'm going to find a model that I can import. Uh, Just add my vis share stuff. All right. So I'm gonna import my car, like so. Got my logs and all that shit. And we are going to embed a carbon texture on this roof piece, just as an example. So I'm gonna scroll down and find the roof piece. Some body shell. Not misk A. Misk B. Okay. So I'm going to copy vehicle generic detail 2. I'm going to name this custom carbon. I'm going to double click on it to open up the material properties. And set the diffuse color to white because I can. Oh shit. Uh, and then we are going to create a new group. We're going to call this whatever the model will be. So in this case, it'll be SCH Wizard underscore high dot YFT. And you'll have to do this, uh, you'll have to rename this depending on how you export. So if you want it embedded in the LODs as well, uh, we'll have to rename this to. Uh, without, uh, we'll have to remove the underscore high like this, but I'll show you that later so you know what to do. And then we'll hit add, and then I'm going to go to my VShare folder. In fact, I will go to a custom folder for this. So, one of friendly textures, and we're going to find a carbon material. Slade materials carbon. Okay, here we go. Some carbon fiber. I'm looking for the dark carbon fiber that I used the other day. There we go. So I'm going to import all of these three. So all of these three textures will be uh, embedded. You have to make sure that you add them to this group because they need to be. Uh, Basically, if you, for example, were to pick the texture map and then import them from the share.yt group, then it wouldn't embed them. They have to be in a custom group that you've made in order for them to be embedded. So hit OK on that. And then we will do the mask, which is fine as it is. Bump map, which in this case is this one. So carbon fiber 01 normal DDS. Then the specular map, which is this green one. Then what we'll do, select the piece and drag and drop the carbon, like so. It looks like shit, but uh, it's not really the uh, point of this. The point is just to show you how to embed textures. You can obviously be the one that's in charge of uh, UV mapping and all that shite. So now what we can do, we can rename this to underscore high. We hit file export. I'm going to export it to the desktop as an example. I don't want it to lock. All right, so we'll do sch warzer underscore high dot yft. You have to make sure you add the extension. Hit export. Exported highest highest the, the, the English. Exported high slot only, hierarchy element 75, collision elements 21, materials use 19, embedded textures 3. That's exactly what you want to be seeing with this. So it embedded all three textures into the roof. And now I can do the same thing again. But this time renaming the uh, model. 
top of the physical height and also the group. I almost forgot about that. Like so. See, embedded texture three, and now as an example, again, many examples in this video. I don't know why I keep saying that. Uh, I'm going to drag and drop this into OpenIV, and generally you can tell when the texture has been embedded because uh, you'll see it in OpenIV since it's referencing the model itself and no external YGG files. So I will show you guys that now. So drag and drop. Look in here. There's the carbon texture that's mapped like us. Let me look on the uh, .yft, which I'm pretty sure I exported wrong. I did. It's fine. And the carbon texture is here as well. Now, for those uh, trying to embed liveries, uh, it's pretty much the same process. So you'll have a material that looks similar to uh, Vivner X Compact Map Paint 1. Let me just set it to Paint 3, for example. So Paint 3. And in here, you have a detail two section. Now, by default, uh, this will have a blank .dds if you're doing tuning liveries. If you're doing a uh, embedded YTD livery, then it'll be uh, car name underscore sign underscore one, which will just be blank, and then you can switch it with the YTD. So if you're creating a tuning part livery, then what you'll do is by default, you'll have uh, this material with the blank and you can either create a copy of it and add your uh, texture map with your custom group with your custom name or you can do what I do which is just edit the existing one so you'll add your material like your livery material which in this case would be just whatever you have and then hit OK and then you can export as normal same process just make sure that when you're done uh, you switch it back to blank if you're gonna re-export the car so I don't really have the blank texture in here but you, you get the idea that's it's the same process more or less and now this looks terrible so yeah uh, that's the embedded textures tutorial I hope this was helpful uh, if you have any questions or anything uh, feel free to comment or join my discord and talk in support or something uh, thank you for watching goodbye